you have a question in the room, please place your hand. We can start with Lauren. Thank you. Hi, Lewis. Hey there, how are you? Good. A big win in front of the fans with three goals from the team. Talk about how this gives confidence for the attackers going into another important match this weekend. Yeah, I mean, something we spoke about at length is being more clinical in front of goal. I think we were more patient tonight also in our build-up and picking the right moments to go. Um, obviously, we get a couple of set pieces as well, but I think the, the team that started going forward looked great, and then the boys that came on as well also made a difference, so it was encouraging to see. Next question, Michelle, then Franco. Congratulations. Um, I, the Miami Herald's going to credit you with the goal. No, I'm going to say the other one, but also congrats anyway. Um, can you just talk about how the system tonight really helped you guys help the offense? And, and Phil just said that you just seemed so much freer. You were back, kind of like back home where you like to be running up and down the sideline and all that in the attack. Uh, how did that system help the offense today? And, and also having Federico in there, what did that do? Thank you. Yeah, I think you could see, um, I think obviously the game suited us as well. We had big spaces to operate in. Um, I think Federico in there was great and it's testament to how he works every single day in training that he can come in after um, maybe not playing as much as he wanted and, and come up big again for us. Um, and yeah, obviously on a personal note, I loved playing um, out in the left tonight. Um, obviously there's been a big chunk of the season where I've played elsewhere and the team's always got to come first. Um, on a personal note, I really enjoyed being there again and I feel a lot more comfortable in that area. Um, and hopefully that's something I can give the the club going forward is um, hopefully a little bit of creativity in the in the final third. Next question, Franco and Dido. Hey, Lewis, congrats on the on the win. Uh, for you guys, what does it feel like to get this victory? It's been a it's been a long stretch, a rough stretch, um, six game losing streak, not a lot of goals there. To to be able to win again at home um, with so many goals, you know, what's the feeling like? And and the fact that it also Gets you right back into the playoff conversation just when it looked like maybe it was it was about to come to an end. You guys are now six points shy. Um, that given the other results went your way tonight. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Football changes so quickly. Um, obviously, like you say, we were on the losing streak that it wasn't something that was alien to us because we'd done it earlier on in the season. And the manager was speaking to us about we bounced back so well from that disappointing run we had, um, sort of the middle of the season, and then we came and won five games. Um. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that we can do that again now. Um, we need to take every game as it comes. And tonight we knew that the chances were running out. But like you say, people can maybe write you off and then you win one game and all of a sudden it's six points. And with momentum in football, you just never know. So we just need to keep taking care of, of what we can, which is trying to win games of football. And then whatever happens, happens. Next question, Dino. Thank you, Rafa. Congratulations to wins on the win. Mm, I'm sure that your, your answer is going to be like, a hard work, but I've been wanting to ask you this from a long time, which has been the key for you. You, is, you are the only player that have been in the starting lineup every game. In the, and, I, and I really wanted to ask you, which has been the key during those, this one, more than 150 games, because every uh, other player is team and show that they, they are too, but what has been the, the key for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's definitely hard work involved, but like you say, every player works hard. Um, I think you need to be fortunate with staying healthy, staying fit. Um, I mean, it's something that I do well over, over the last couple of seasons is making sure I'm always available. Um, I think my fitness levels are high and um, that lends itself to playing like Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. Um, I'm usually fresh to go and then having a coach and staff that, that trusts you and puts you in every single game. It started from last year and then this year. Um, you always need to be picked to play and Fortunately, I've been ready to play and, and healthy to play in every single game for this club so far. And um, yeah, it's like you say, there's, I'm sure there's other players that would also, like they've also worked hard enough that that could be the case for them. It's just circumstantial that I seem to have played all the games at the club. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and make sure I keep working hard and training and make sure I'm ready every single day. More questions? We'll finish with uh, Ian and then Franco. Just to touch off of that, you, you passed over 2,500 minutes uh, this season tonight, and uh, you're in the top half of the league, shot creating actions, expected assists, all of those advanced metrics, but you haven't really had as many of the goals and assists as you saw last year. How much of that has 
been to diminish frustration, to still find joy in, in what your role is, but also to know that your play is providing things because all your comparables are to guys around the league that are doing similar things. Guys like Chris Mueller, guys like Sebastian Majed, guys like that, that, that you, like you said, are available day in and day out. And even though it doesn't show up on the goals or the assist sheet, it does show up in other ways. Yeah, I mean, I think regardless of where I'm playing on the pitch, my numbers this year have shown that I have created chances, shot taking actions or whatever you want to call it. But in terms of the goals and assists, I think I've obviously got to look at myself and, and why that number is what it is. I think I wouldn't be making excuses by saying that part of it was that I, would, I played a different role for this team this year. Um, we obviously changed formation and I was not more... Yeah, you probably could say I was more defensively minded, having to help out the team in different ways. And that's just how football goes. It's just about being ready and doing what your job is. Um, and of course, even though I was playing right wing back, right back for a big portion, you still want to get goals and assists. So I'm not saying that that's the only reason, um, but I've got a few games to go to the end of the season. I'm frustrated I didn't score then just before I came off there. Um, but the, yeah, I mean, it's important for me to create chances. Um, and I'm not sure what the exact numbers are, but um, obviously for players that like going forward, it's important to try and keep those metrics up. And then eventually they'll turn into the to the solid facts and figures of goals and assists. Last question, Franco. Yeah. So it's kind of just going off of that and Michelle's earlier question. Uh, Phil said, I think he used the word free to describe what the system did for you and pushing you more advanced position as a player. You know, how much freer did you feel out there in terms of your tactical responsibility? Obviously, as a wing back, there's a little bit more defensive responsibilities. Not to say that as a winger, you don't have any, but you have less so because you have someone covering your back. So how much freer did it feel out there as compared to what you've done for much of the last few months tactically? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was freer in a sense of tactically. I think even when I was playing at wing back, I knew what my job and my role, my responsibility was. Um, it wasn't so much that I was uncomfortable or anything with it. It was just what you've seen tonight is me playing in a position that I played basically my whole footballing career. So naturally, I'm going to be more, more comfortable out there. Um, what you've seen of me this year at right wing back was the first time I've ever been thrown into that and, and playing there. So there probably was a little bit of learning, learning on the job. Um, and tonight I managed to to play in a position where I do feel most free. Um, but like I say, I mean, I spoke, we've we spoke amongst the group, spoke as the manager. I've always said wherever I need to play, I'll play. Um, it's about, like I say, keep myself available and keep myself ready to play. But in an ideal world, that's, that is where I'm more comfortable. But I mean, it wasn't like we, we didn't know that anyway. It was just important that I was doing a different role for the team. And um, like I say, that's how football is. We've got to put the team first. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Thanks, guys. Cheers. You Thank you. On Friday.